Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the PWL. This is the two-man power trip. We're going to hit you with some Ring of Honor 19th anniversary predictions. Uh, show is tomorrow night, the 26th of March, 2021. The first hour of the show is free on YouTube. Guys, it's free on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, guys, it, if, if you're not on this yet, please get on it. Okay, it's worth it. Even if you give it the first hour for free, Honor Club is worth it. You get discounts on merch, just like what we have here. Um, you also get dis you, uh, discounts. You also get uh, discounts to a lot of other things. So, guys, do the do the smart thing. Sign up for Honor Club. It's nine ninety nine a month. Um, you already spent your nine nine ninety nine. Uh, sign up for Peacock for the first four months. So now you have three free months of nine ninety nine. And this show also has a peacock on it. So, I mean, you might as well. Who knows for how long, though? Well, for, I don't think for very long, unfortunately. You've but, been saying that for a while, though. Yeah, I'm starting to think, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe he's not going to the company I think he's going to. I'm going to have to give him a call. You might have to. It's head top relations. While yeah. you're doing it, can you tell Brian that I miss him? Brian Malone. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah we talk about once a week about everything Steelers related and bubble stuff. So, yeah, I'll, th- I'll throw I'll throw it in there. Love it. I'll uh, I'll also have to I think just cap this, put it on on Twitter, send it to him. Yeah, maybe 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 he'll notice me someday. Uh, <laughs> hour one, we have a four quarter survival match. Timeout. Uh, There's oh. we got to go over the huge changes to the card. Oh, you're right. You're He's right. been pulled. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of movement on this card already. So if you were watching the PWO WrestleCast uh, with, of course, your favorites, Ryan Alvarez, your host, Matt, uh, <laughs> you just ta- heard us talk about Dragon Lee, unfortunately being pulled from the show due to a minor injury, his ruptured eardrum, preventing him from traveling. So uh, he, his two titles are still being defended at this show. The TV title uh, is going to be defended against Tracy Williams by his tag partner, Kenny King. And the tag titles that Kenny King also holds will be defended against uh, Rhett Titus and Tracy Williams. Uh, But now King's tag partner will be Bestia Del Ring. Uh, So if either man lose, lose, uh, uh, if Kenny King loses in either of those matches, uh, they will lose the belts to the foundation. That's some pretty big news there, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Um, and, and I briefly went over it when we were on the Russell cast. When something like this happens, um, when, when you have talent that are in multiple matches throughout the night, um, it's fine if, if you're using the talent appropriately, you know, and in a case like this, you had a couple guys that were, that were, that were double dipping um, Dragon Lee being one of one of them. Um, but it just sucks to see that because Dragon Lee is arguably, you know, one of the better um, light, lightweight guys, cruiserweight guys, high flying guys. Lute, lute, yeah, I mean, he's doing good loot to things. All right. Um, he was also one of the premier talents that Ring of Honor managed to re-sign before the contract expired and he made the jump. So um, I was very excited to see this. Um, and for those that don't know, uh, La, La Bestia Del Ring is the father to not only Dragon Lee, not only to Mystico, but also to the current Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion, Rush. Roosh. Okay. Roosh. You tell you Roosh. tell that to you you tell that to friend of the show, Pat Lilly. Well, hey, look, <laughs> I, I know he's usually backed by popular demand, but I think this is one <laughs> he might have to stick out for a minute here. But let's go and get started with our one predictions here because we have a four corner survival match set up in the very in the very first match here. It's Dan Housen versus Brian Johnson versus friend of the show LSG versus Eli Isom. Mm. Now. Isom had a pretty good showing 
earlier this week, and I'm kind of thinking he's winning this one. Um, Ring of Honor has done a fantastic job week to week premiering some of these talents. Um, they did one on LSG a few week, weeks ago as well. Um, when Cheeseburger changed his name to uh, CB Classic, CB Original. The I world's honestly, famous CB. World, world's famous CB. Thank you. I'm so sorry. You're a good Cheese, brother. I got you. Yeah. Cheesy baby. Cheesy I'm baby. sorry. Yeah. Um, I've got to go with LSG. I think, I think, I think a match like this is prime for a guy like him to win. Um, he's had a couple of great showings the past few episodes on Ring of Honor television. I could, I could also see them pulling the trigger on Eli Isom. Dan Housen's not ready. Come on. I think As him much- and Brian Johnson are there to take care of each other, if that makes sense. Dan yeah, Housen, I, I think, gets a sneaky elimination, and Brian Johnson then beats the hell out of Dan Housen, which would be very nice, very evil. Uh, beat the heck out of Dan Housen, I think you might say. Oh. No, hell's a place. It's not a curse. Oh, my gosh. Um. I think that either Eli Isom or LSG winning this would be excellent. Um, Agreed. Agreed. I, I think it's the right move. God, I, I would be very happy for LSG, especially after sitting there and talking with him, um, having seen him when he was in MCW. Mm-hmm. I, I, would, I would be very happy with that. I would also, yeah, him or Eli, I think both these guys, I think they're about to start strapping the Rockets. And uh, hour one, you're also getting a, t- uh, a six man tag title match. You're going to get the Mexa Squad versus Shane Taylor promotions. And I got to tell you, STP's retaining. <sighs> I'm a Shane Taylor mark. I'm not afraid to say it. Um, I'm really torn on this. Um, although. I am going to pick Shane Taylor promotions to win. Um, I want to see Shane Taylor go for the gold. Um, depending on who wins the main event, I want to see him in a, in a world title match. He's overdue. This whole uh, – since the start of Shane Taylor promotions has been a thing. He has been their, – their promos have been excellent. Um, their in-ring work has been great. Um, but I also feel bad that we have Bandito, Ray, or Roos, and, and Flamita on the pre-show and losing. It, it, it hurts my soul, but, um, Uh, I mean, you're using it to essentially sell your show, so I'm fine with it. Um, but yeah, STP is going to retain here for sure. I uh, I gotta tell you, I really like the tag team, a part of STP. I really do. Yeah, the, uh, quiet, quietly one of the better trios, um, you know that re- that Ring of Honor has. Um. Oh my God, I'm like blanking on his name. I want to tell you, I think it's Moses. Mm-hmm. And. Khan. Yep. Boom. There it is. I'm trying to think of which one's which, though. Um, God, this is going to sound kind of bad. The the slightly leaner one. Um, I mean, you can just call them the. I mean, you can call them. You can call them the Harris brothers if you want. I mean, that's. I mean, they're way more talented, but it's one of those things you can't tell which one is which, and you're like, that's one third of Shane Taylor promotions, and that's another third. I it's con. It's con. <laughs> I, yeah. I just, I'm looking up right now on Ring of Honor wrestling. You don't con. even. You con don't even point. Look. You don't even point anymore. You're just like, uh, that's Moses. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> con. Which one though? Yeah, right there. Con. He's the one. He's the one. He's the dude. He's got a good look. Like when when we talk about someone who has the presentation of being a pro wrestler down, that guy has it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I think it's a great trio. Yeah, I definitely. I think they they really work together well. Um, all right, now we're out of the first hour. Although I wouldn't be surprised if maybe one of these gets dropped. 
into the first hour. Um, I mean, they only have those two matches. So Tip- typically, typically ring ring of honor is very good about only doing two shows on the pre-show. I got um, you. I'm about to say, just looking at these, I, I could see one of these non-title or not really, I don't want to say any sanctions on them, but uh, you have Flip Gordon versus Mark Briscoe, um, which I'm going flip. Flip, flip, flip. Uh, as flip, crazy as he is. He's a guy who I feel like, man, prior to COVID, it seemed like the – the world was at his fingertips, and it just doesn't feel that way right now anymore. Um, yeah, he's had some um, he's he's had some pretty um, grueling stuff in the in the pure in 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 the pure division. Yeah, um, but that's but that's not his game. I don't think. I think I really, he is. Really feel like the um, the dissolving uh, villain enterprises has left him kind of with nothing. Kind of similar situation, I think, with Kip Sabian when when Jimmy Havoc was dropped. Yeah, this would have been a great time when villain enterprises kind of collapsed because I also have um, a theory that Mike DeShazo shared with us earlier okay. about um, about the other part of villain enterprises. I'll another king now um yeah um another hot rumor going around is that brody king will be the next member of united empire in new japan pro wrestling um but back to my point it would have been a great time when all that kind of collapsed to to you know put flip gordon back in his original character i think flip gordon is a much better face um, yeah, he's not the, the heel stuff is fine, but it's it's not his true work though. Yeah, his true character is working as a face, you know, doing what he does. I think I think he does get the win here. Um, it'll go with my theory late later in the card. Dig it. Um, Dig it. All right. So uh, up next we have the Peacock himself, Dalton mm-hmm. Castle. Versus Josh the Goods Woods. I'm gonna butt right in. Um, it's Silas Young. There, there you go. There's Dalton the... Dalton Castle's winning by hook or by crook. I think there's um, gonna be a lot of by crook. Yeah. Um, so just a little backstory. Obviously, if you're watching this, you're a Ring of Honor fan, or you're trying it for the first time. Um, good choice. This is a good good show. Good card. Great choice. Um, Silas Silas Young. Come, comes out to talk to Josh Woods. Um, he says, either you're going to pursue a singles career or you and I can dominate the tag team division together, you know, and get two guys, one tag back together. Um, he ultimately, um, you know, chooses the singles run, which according to Silas Young, you know, that's it. No more, no more tag if that was the decision. Um, but then turns around and is still going to be in his corner for this match. Um, I think um, I think this sets up um, a Josh Wood Silas Young grudge match down the road. Um, uh, this is not a pure match. If this is a pure match, I would choose Josh Josh Woods over and over. But this is a straight wrestling match. It's Dalton Castle um, from here till daylight. Till we we're told otherwise. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Um, God, though, if he loses, man, I just don't get it. <sighs> yeah, I'm very, I'm very interested to see uh, if they pull the trigger on Dalton Castle because this is this is another guy now um, who is a main event player. I mean, but you could look at you know at least a half a dozen of these guys on the card and say that they're a main event guy. But Dalton Castle is a former. Ring of Honor world champion um, deserves, deserves a little speck on his name, you know? That's a, that's a little yeah, it's your little uh, something to think about for later. Just throwing that out there. Maybe future Ring of Honor champion. Unsanctioned match. It's Matt Taven versus Vincent. Now look, this is going to be held 
at uh, Powell Hall in Fall River, Massachusetts, outside of where they're doing this. It's meant to kind of be taped away so no one can get involved, which makes me think that people are going to get involved. Yeah. Um, and if that happens, it's got to be Vincent. Um, yeah. Agree. Pat, Pat's probably not happy with me for saying that because we all know our one true king is Matt Taven. But unfortunately, I, I think he may get screwed here in this unsanctioned match. You know, it'll be real cool if maybe we get a little Age of the Fall action here and maybe he gets hung upside down. Um, cool. I'm just saying. You, you know what? Um, I'm actually going to flip the script here. I'm going to say Matt Taven, Matt Taven gets the win here. Oh, yeah. um, it just seems like Vincent's got his hand in too many cookie jars, <laughs> honestly. Um, we saw a few weeks back he was uh, he was trying to split the bouncers up. Um, you know, he's not even talking for himself now. Um, you know, I mean, he's, he's, he's doing his own promos, but, you know, there, there are other people. He's kind of spreading that around. Um, He's just not as involved in this as I want him to be to get the win. Um, and if we do get interference, it's going to go both both ways. Um, so I, I – Mike and Maria drop in uh, – what's his name? And uh, – mm-hmm. Vita Star? Was that her name? Am I... Vita Von Star. Vita Von Star. I missed the Von. Yeah. And and Bateman. Bateman. I always Noel think Bateman. he has a I always think he has a glass eye, honestly. <laughs> That's good. Um yeah. So there's that. I I don't know. I really feel like uh I really feel like Vincent's gotta win here. I think they could both use the win. Um, it depends, I think, on how they want to book Matt Taven. <sighs> because I, 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 just, I feel like I feel like Taven can lose, and Vincent, we need him to win more. To to, it, it's almost the Bray Wyatt issue of like his character is that. so interesting as the leader of the righteous. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we don't want him to not be credible. And that's the issue we run into. Makes sense. Huh. Um, man, that, that one I think is maybe the biggest toss up of the night. Up next, we got a grudge match. It's EC3 mm. versus Jay Briscoe. And, uh, you know, it's his narrative. I'm going with EC3. Yeah, this ties into what I was going to get to earlier. We're going to get a. Briscoe reunion once they both lose tonight. Yeah. Um, I think, and there's nothing wrong with them being singles competitors. They are better together than they are apart. Agreed. And, yeah, they're a top, t- a top tier tag team of all time, maybe. And you know what? EC3 needs a win. Yes. As much as, you know, we, as, as much as Jay, Jay Briscoe would benefit from a win, um, EC3's lost a couple. Let's 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 throw in one here, especially since it's a grudge match. Agreed. All right, ring of honor, pure title on the line. Jonathan Gresham is defending against Dak Draper. One, two, three. Gresham. Jonathan Gresham. Yep. Mm-hmm. The octopus man. Go yeah. ahead and get get used to hearing a lot about the foundation. Guys, the, the, okay. First off, if you're if you're new to the channel, Sands. If you are new to Ring of Honor and you know nothing about the pure tournament and the pure rules and the pure championship, um, educate yourself. It's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was good timing. Um, yeah. Also, Jonathan Gresham. Look, you might look at him and you might you might see that he's he's a short guy. He will kick your ass ass yeah he is perfectly built for the pure division um he is a mat technician yeah that's exactly what he is 
Arguably and the most technical wrestler in the world right now. Um, it's a toss up between him and That's everybody's most. Forever. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> of course, talking about Zack Saber Jr. Look, um, all I'm saying is Jonathan Gresham looks like a star. Zack Saber Jr. looks like a guy who I pushed into lockers in high school, and I was in the marching band. Oh, jeez. Um, Dak, oh. uh, Dak, Dak Draper will put up a fight but it will not be nearly enough. We are going to get the octopus. Which is great. And also his mask is great. And the foundation is great. And speaking of why the foundation is great, the Ring of Honor World Tag Team titles are on the line. Tracy Williams and Rhett Titus are going to face Kenny King. And as you already know, Bestia Del Ring is replacing Dragon Lee. And shocker, Tracy Williams and Rhett Titus are going to win the tag titles here. Yeah. Um, I agree, and here's why. Because you are going to get um, the the one of these things has to give, right? According according to logic, you know, you know, either you win one here and lose one later, or vice or, or vice or, or vice versa. Um, I agree, the foundation will win here. Um, I think just too many interchangeable parts. Um, um, I, I think that Kenny King eats the pin though. I agree. Which is very unfortunate. It is. He um, is the K-I-N-G King. Yeah. Um, Rhett Titus has got to get the win here and it has to be Rhett Titus to pin Kenny King. Yeah. You know, Storyline. Those of you who don't know, they used to be a tag team. <laughs> really good tag team who should have been wrestling around the world as a top tier tag team but yeah Red Tide's got pick Kenny King maybe I don't yeah. think shenanigans no but, they don't they don't need it but uh, here's the deal here's the deal Kenny King recently had a, a little unfortunate issue dealing with COVID which as many of you know affects the lungs um, I don't know I think I may have just cost his monetization by mentioning COVID uh, but uh, that's exactly it. You know what happens when your lungs get affected? Your cardio gets hurt. What happens when your cardio gets hurt? You lose the second match that you're in the same night because Tracy Williams is going to beat Kenny King for the TV title right after. And I just gave you a storyline reason as to why. You really did, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you. Um. Uh, a I, when it comes to the foundation versus uh, LFI. Yeah. I, I really want to say that Kenny King is only in one of, in one of these matches, but it's very hard with no, with no replacement. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, it's going to be Tracy Williams. Um, winning the world television championship here, without a doubt, it's hot sauce all all the way. Um, Nation, you know what I, and it'll be interesting to see where they line this up on the card, because I almost want to think, um, depending on how Kenny King is health wise, they might build it into story as maybe back he gets in. He he maybe it's injured, um, but is very resilient and is willing to go to fight for you know his you know he stable won't forfeit the title. Yeah, and uh, it, it it might be quick, um, but yeah, Tracy Williams is winning this regardless. Agreed, and of course, main event time. And there's really only one way to end an anniversary show. It's with your yeah. franchise, Jay Lethal, challenging for the Ring of Honor world title against champion Roosh. And let me, and let me talk to you. Who, you. who you got? One, two, three. Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal. It's going to be a lethal injection, baby. Listen, we're right going to get... LFI's veins. Yeah, and here's the best part. We're going to get the entire foundation in the middle of the ring 
With all the gold. With all the gold. Well, they are going to be missing one title, but maybe not. Yeah. That long. I, I think I think that's fine. I think it's fine. Jonathan Gresham, Jay Lethal, and Tracy Williams will end up taking the trios. I wouldn't be surprised if it that was. Way. Everyone, yeah. uh, not not Tracy Williams. Sorry, Rhett Titus. That way, everyone. Right. Has okay. Belts. Everyone yeah. has two belts, and I, yeah. there's a very specific reason why I'm going this route. All right, because I think, a storyline wise, we've been pushing for the Foundation versus LFI for a while now, mm-hmm. um, and LFI is a great, great stable, but. We can run off some frustration with Dragon Lee versus Kenny King. Cod, you good? Looks like you just saw some something crazy. Tell me how long Roosh has been the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion for. He's been champion since pre-COVID. I want to tell you he won it either the January or December before COVID. So, so February 2020 is when he won it at the end of February. Uh, so he's been Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion. For 388 days and counting. And it comes to an end tomorrow. Um, yeah, I completely agree. I think I, um, I got a couple reasons for this. Um, how about it? Because Ring of Honor is great at long term booking. Mm-hmm. All right. Roosh is going to lose the title, and LFI is going to have some turmoil inside. Dragon Lee is going to be frustrated that he lost both of his belts without wrestling a single match. All right. Which is going to lead to some infighting. Uh, Roosh is going to be upset. He's not the champion. Kenny King's going to feel rejected and dejected having not being able to seal the deal. They're going to need someone to come and bring them together. Someone who just became a free agent. Someone who's tranquilo. Somebody lurking in the shadows. I'm talking La Sombra, all right? So there's where we're going to fix LFI, all right? We're going to go ahead and just move them over here. I think they're LIF, actually. I think I've been miss saying this this entire time. No, you are absolutely right. LFI? Yeah. Yes, good song. Uh, but also, <laughs> while we're at it, I already have our next challenger for Jay Lethal. It's going to be a rematch of the first round of the Ring of Honor Pure Tournament. Dalton mm-hmm. Castle picking up his win is going to challenge Jay Lethal for the belt. These guys have traded the belts before. Uh, I think it would make a lot of sense. Dalton Castle, I don't think, is going to be in Ring of Honor for much longer. Genuinely, I don't know what else is left for him. I think he's someone who would benefit from maybe a, a little quick tenure in Impact or New Japan or even really AEW, but I almost feel like they have too much people there for right now. I think um, depending on what happens at Impact's Rebellion show, I think that Dalton Cass would be an outstanding addition um, if we are going to be roster sharing. Um, New Japan makes a lot of sense, though, too, considering they have a working relationship. Maybe he's the Um, next guy to join the, the Empire. Oh, boy, that would be bad, wouldn't it? He doesn't really fit. But ultimately, exactly. I really think there's a lot of long-term booking here mm-hmm. that you already have perfectly in place. I think Flip Gordon will challenge Jonathan Gresham for the title. They've been kind of pushing that that's going to be happening along the way. Is he is he still suspended from the peer division? Probably, but okay. I think you can still kind of push it there, especially with him beating the Briscoes. You could. Both Briscoes got to come together following a loss, get back together in the tag title run. Uh, where we'll see some fantastic matches between them and Titus and Tracy Williams. Um, so much long-term work here. Jay Lethal also as the foundation. They've really kind of worked, I feel like, this little like, tweener spot here. You know, mm-hmm. They've really pushed this. Great. You're going you're gonna to cheer for who you want to cheer for. You're either foundation or LFI. You know? Um, which is great. It's one of the very few options. It's like it's like it, it's Austin Rock. You know, no one's really the bad guy. You just pick which side you're on. Which mm-hmm. is great. 
great. Ring of Honor is fantastic at doing this. This is this is their bread and butter. Literally, on their 19th anniversary show, a stable called the Foundation, which really with Jay Lethal one of the first guys there. You know, it, it makes so much sense for him to win this year. Yeah. Uh, Especially I'm, since last year they didn't have their anniversary show because of COVID. Yeah. Which I think would have just been canceled. I, I want to tell you they had canceled it. Maybe I'm, I'm, I got to look it up now, but it, it was coming. I want to tell you. I think we had stuff booked for it. It was canceled in March. Oh my God. It was going to take place on March 13th and 14th. It just got missed. It literally had was just ended. Um, but for instance, yeah. you want to know what your main event was for that match? I'm looking at it now. Bruce yeah. versus Mark Haskins. Yeah, I mean. Man, I got to ask you, where where is Mark Haskins right now? Um, you know, I want to say they are – it's a great question. I don't know. Um, but this, but this just goes to show you where we were at this point last year, where we had Marty Skrull still on our television. Yeah, obviously there's more to that. Um, uh, we had Jeff, we had Jeff Cobb still on TV. We had Brody King. Um, so it. it oh, that would have been a not fun to show. Mention, not to mention. Damn, I forgot about this. They were supposed to do the past versus present show the next night. Yeah. Oh my God. We were supposed to get um a match that could never happen anymore. Yeah. It gets real depressing when you think about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It gets really sad. Also, I wanted to see Homicide kick Brody King's face off. Look, Jay Lethal versus Xavier was going to be incredible. Yeah. Can we also look at this and respect Doug, Douglas Williams versus Jonathan Gresham? Now let me ask you, oh, man, Doug Williams also just reopened his bookings. He's not yeah. he in retirement. So maybe we get some shenanigans there. Maybe he is the guy for the Empire. <laughs> Literally just thought about that. God damn. Uh, but maybe maybe we need to do some research on where Mark Haskins is. Because, man, wouldn't he just be a great member for the foundation? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of good um, – a lot of strong talent, I think. Yeah. Um, that, would, that would fit well here. I think maybe also we need to see a rise of maybe a third stable here coming up here. I mean, Shane Taylor Promotions could add another one. Maybe uh, maybe Eli Isom. Yeah, because, you know, they're, they're not – I mean, obviously without world-famous CB. Um, well, I, just, I think it would be such a, a cool look at maybe Eli Isom decides, you know what? I've I've been too nice for too long, you know. I don't know. Now now we're going a little too far down the the rabbit hole here. I'm really pumped for this show. Yeah, I am ready to see some outstanding Ring of Honor action. I gotta be real with you. I mean, look, Charlotte has COVID, and I assume Andrade and Charlotte are together at this moment. Um, but man. No compete clause means La Sombra could show up at Ring of Honor show tomorrow. Yeah, uh, and happen. here's and here's the other thing with that too. Since that's come out, now they're going back and forth on whether or not he actually did have one. So we still do not know for sure one hundred percent whether or not he had a no compete clause. So a lot of interesting things to go from, but I, I got to tell you, I'm very excited for this show. I think it's going to be the foundation's night. Uh, and I think what a night for them to have 
I think there's going to be some incredible matches. I, I don't know if there's a match on here I'm not excited for. I'm going to be honest with you. Guys, I don't, I don't know how much it is because I have, as I have Honor Club, um, but, it's, but it's free for me because I have Honor Club. And I, and, I, and it, it's such a great re- resource to have. You can go and watch old Xavier matches, watch old Brody Lee matches, you know, get yourself in the feels there. Um, a lot, their whole library is there. All right. Ring, Ring of Honor is an outstanding promotion. Um, it's worth investing in. I really um, want to emphasize all of your favorite wrestlers right now in WWE, AEW, and most likely New Japan have all come through Ring of Honor. Yes. The and Punk. Impact as well. Impact had a lot of incredible stars. AJ Styles in Ring of Honor. Twice. Two different segments yeah. that were incredible. Mm-hmm. Um, let me just throw this at you as well. Um, because we know that um, WWE released a lot of members of, of their staff and roster um, once, one, once COVID hit. Um, Ring of Honor continued to pay their employees. They did not cut anybody. They have only grown since they've started back up. But the entire time, and you can go back and look at any, any of our prior interviews with any Ring of Honor em, employee or staff, they continue to get a paycheck. That that's that that says something to me, and yeah. that just means that it's honor is real. Honor is real. It's it's a company worth uh, worth investing in. Honestly, the wrestling is fantastic. If you're an old school guy like our guy Jeff Hitman Hall, this is right up your alley. I know if he wasn't you know coaching a football game, he might be uh, front row, which just means he's probably gonna watch it tomorrow or uh, Saturday. But. Yep. We'll get into that later, but guys, I think we're hitting that time of the night. God, I think you didn't hit him with the plug. Yeah, guys, check us on the Facebook and the YouTube Mondays and Thursdays, Monday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, for our live podcast. Check us out on the YouTube. Um, Gearing up for WrestleMania week, it seems like now, um, now that... Now that a now that a AEW has um, launched um, or has you know announced that they are going to have a house show, and Impact is moving to, to the Thursday before WrestleMania, so we're we're just getting our ducks in a row before we get into that week. So no new live content coming, or no new original content. Um, so bear with us; the great stuff is coming. I also have a couple surprises coming tomorrow. Keep an eye out. You're going to want so, to people keep an eye out on the YouTube channel for that. You check out the YouTube page. So, if you like what we're doing, if you like seeing these review shows, if you like seeing the two-man power trip rant about extraordinarily excellent wrestling, guys, you need to check out our Kofi page. It's kofi.com slash pwo123. It's as easy as 123 for the price of a cup of coffee a day. You can support us in making original, outstanding wrestling content for you, the fans. So, guys, that's that's the end of our prediction show here. We want to know, who do you think's winning tomorrow? Give us your takeaways. I'd be all for some K-I-N-G King, but you know who I really want to see? Mm-hmm. My boys, the Bouncers. I know some, some Rocky Waters going on right now, but I love the Bouncers. I got to say it every time we're talking about Ring of Honor. Guys, that's okay. once again – this is going to be a show you're not going to want to miss. There's going to be some incredible, incredible matches with it. Take the time. At the very least, watch the hour on YouTube. It's going to be worth your time. Maybe you'll invest in the pay-per-view after you're convinced there. Yeah. With that, we must bid you adieu. Typically, I'd sit here and I'd tell you goodbye and, and good night, but uh, I don't know, guys. I'm a little too excited to sleep. So have a good weekend. We'll see you on Monday for our uh, live podcast from the Facebook And uh, we'll tell you all about this show then. So if you don't want spoilers, catch up. And with that. Respect the foundation. Respect the foundation. We'll see you on Monday.